Hey guys, welcome back. So today, brought home this 5,500 watt PowerMate generator. This one I found on Facebook Marketplace. It was listed for $160. And according to the listing, the Yamaha engine runs well, but the generator does not make power. So I offered him 100 bucks. He counted at 140, and I took him up on the deal. So hopefully we can get this thing making power again but worst case it does have a good yamaha mz300 engine i've heard it run it does sound good but i didn't do any testing on the power output so i do want to make sure that there is no power you know the one thing i noticed when it was running is that this display was out and this gfci seems to be tripped and it's not resetting so potentially it's as simple as replacing that, but more likely there are issues with that power head. So I'm gonna get the light and the kilowatt hooked up. We'll get a multimeter plugged in as well, get the engine started and see if there's any output from that generator. But before I do any of that, let's check the oil real quick. Maybe. Yeah, plenty of oil. Seen a bit of use, but it's not too bad. So it should be safe to test with. Just about ready to go. Got the light hooked up and turned on. I also have the multimeter and the 120 outlet. And I connected the breakout cord too, just in case. So if we don't get power over there, I will plug the light in to the breakout cord and see if that makes any difference. Well, the good news is the engine, it sounds great, but yeah, there is no output from this generator. I tested both from the breakout cord as well as this 120 volt outlet here. And the display, as noted previously, does not power up. And according to the multimeter, there were zero volts coming out, which is a little surprising because these generator heads, they do have residual magnetism. So even if they don't power up, you should still see a couple volts coming out and I didn't see that. So yeah, I think I need to get this up on the lift. We'll get the end off the power head and take a closer look. Actually, before opening the power head up, let's just do some tests here. It's not a conclusive test, but it'll show you if there's something obvious going on, like an open circuit or really high resistance. So to do this, you just need a multimeter set to measure ohms and check the resistance of your leads. In my case, it's 0.1 ohms. So any reading I get, I can subtract that to get the true value. So I'm gonna start with the 240 outlet We'll put one probe in the neutral and another in one of the legs. Usually of a generator this size, the reading should be about 0.3 or 0.4 ohms. And in this case, we're at 0 0.4, 0 0.5. You subtract the 0 0.1 and we're at 0 0.3, 0 0.4. So that is good. Let's check the other leg to neutral. 
And we should get the same reading. A little bit higher. The other leg we got 0 0.4, 0 0.5. This one is 0 0.5, so that is a little suspicious. Let's just check this outlet. Point 0.5. So yeah, maybe a little bit higher than the other leg. And then this is tripped, so I'm not expecting to see anything, but let's see what we get. And it's all over the place. I'm actually surprised we're getting anything. So that, that could be an issue. I don't think it's the issue. So assuming we get it to make power again, I think that definitely has to be dealt with. But for now, let's pull the cover off the power head and see what's going on down there. Behind here are the brushes. So I'm going to isolate them by unplugging them from the bridge rectifier. And then we'll just test the resistance through the brushes to the slip rings and see what that comes out at. I think these generators, usually around 30 ohms, give or take. Yeah, it's probably going to be a little higher, actually, through the slip rings, but anywhere kind of between, I'd say, 20 ohms and on this generator, probably 50 ohms should be fine. We're at 42 ohms through the slip rings. That seems... Good. Let's just check it to ground. And no fault to ground. So that's good. That tells me that the rotor, which is the part in the middle, the electromagnet, seems to be in good shape. So in order to get this end cap off to check the stator, we need to remove the four stator bolts. And then this cap should slide right out of place. Things look pretty good in here. The copper color is good. No signs of a meltdown, nothing burnt, and the lacing is intact, it looks like. Well, mostly intact. That one is broken, so that is an indication that maybe it got hot in that spot and caused it to break. And this one actually might be broken as well. So yeah, that is not a good sign. Now, it doesn't look like I'm the first one in here. If you look at the slip rings, looks like someone has sanded them clean. And the connections going down to the bridge rectifier have been spliced together. So, yeah, potentially is an issue with the bridge rectifier. But let's test the main windings. Now, I forgot there is no wire block in here. So this wire running up to the control panel, there is a quick disconnect. So I'm going to unplug that, we'll pull the wire back, and we can test directly from the windings to ground, make sure everything's good, and we'll do the same here on the DPE winding.
Let's just check the resistance again of the main windings. Now, this time we're going direct to the stator. Looking to see that the results are a little more consistent. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99, 0 0.10, 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.16, 0 0.17, 0 0.18, 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21, 0 0.22, 0 0.23, 0 0.24, 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 0.27, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 0 0.30, 0 0.31, 0 0.32, 0 0.33, 0 0.34, 0 0.35, 0 0.36, 0 0.37, 0 0.38, 0 0.39, 0 0.40, 0 0.41, 0 0.42, 0 0.43, 0 0.44, 0 0.45, 0 0.46, 0 0.47, 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, 0 0.53, 0 0.54, 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, 0 0.59, 0 0.60, 0 0.61, 0 0.62, 0 0.63, 0 0.64, 0 0.65, 0 0.66, 0 0.67, 0 0.68, 0 0.69, 0 0.70, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.74, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.77, 0 0.78, 0 0.79, 0 0.80, 0 0.81, 0 0.82, 0 0.83, 0 0.84, 0 0.85, 0 0.86, 0 0.87, 0 0.88, 0 0.89, 0 0.90, 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 
torque spec on these stator bolts is anywhere between 80 and 100 inch pounds. I'm aiming for the middle at 90. I probably should have cleaned the slip rings when I was in there, but you know, they weren't that dirty, so I don't think we're gonna have an issue. But the brushes are a concern. These are the brushes that were in there, and you can see this one is worn really odd. So I'm not gonna use those. I do have another set of brushes. They are used, but you can see the surface on those brushes is a lot better. That should do it. I'm gonna leave this end cap off for now. I'll plug this wire back into the control panel and we'll give it another go. What do you think? I think it's going to work. All right, not too bad. We have power. The voltage, it was a little high, around 136 volts, but that's typical on a generator like this without an AVR. The voltage will be high without a load. You know, I don't really like seeing it above, though, 133, 134 volts. So this one, it can be brought down a little bit, but it is tied to the engine speed, which was also a little fast. We were at 63 hertz. So if I bring that down to about 61 and a half hertz, I think the voltage will be in the normal range for this type of generator. So really the only issue left is fixing that GFCI outlet and also this display. It did power up, but it was a bunch of gibberish. So what I'm going to do is replace both those items. I actually have another control panel from the same type of generator and it has the display we need, and it has a GFCI as well, which actually, these buttons don't move either. So I'm wondering if this has to be powered up to reset that outlet. I bet that is the case. So I'm gonna start it up again. We'll try to reset that outlet, and maybe the only thing we have to deal with is that display. Perfect. That GFCI actually works fine. I was able to test it by tripping it and it reset without issue and both the top and the bottom seem to work fine. So 
This is the only thing that we need to deal with. Well, I think it's earned its oil change. Oil looks pretty good. No metallic in the oil and no bits of metal. I should have pushed it out here a few minutes ago. I just missed the rain. Anyway, I'm gonna clean this up real quick, degrease the engine and just kind of go over the whole thing and try to get that dirt off this machine. part of the air box so we'll take a look inside in a bit make sure it's not missing an air filter See if we're missing anything in here. Filter looks to be pretty good. And yeah, that plastic piece, it's supposed to go right there. It just keeps the filter off of the air intake. So obviously it runs without it, but it is meant to have it. So I'll start just by getting these four screws out that hold this display in place. And it looks like this gets power right here with this quick disconnect so that's easy enough and this right here these are the current transformers leg one and leg two go through these transformers and it looks like both wires are connected 
to this 240 volt outlet. So I'm gonna get these screws out, pop this outlet back into the box, and we should be able to free these wires and get this out of there. A little bit harder to get to is the other one right there. And there's our prize. Just breaking this control panel down the same as the other. And we'll get this panel off the same way and swap it out for what hopefully is the good one. It is untested, so it may not actually work, but we won't know till we try. Gonna start it real quick, let's see if it works. Okay, good. This meter seems to work just fine. I got worried for a second because it did take a few seconds before coming on, but once it was on, I could see there were no issues. It showed a 0% load and surprisingly only eight hours on this meter. If you had seen the generator this came off of, it looked like it had a lot more than that. Anyway, this one, I'm fairly certain it has more eight hours on it, but there is no way to know since that other meter is no longer functioning. So I'm gonna leave good enough alone. You know, at this point, the generator's pretty clean. It's running well and making power. So I think it's time to get it outside and put it under load and make sure it keeps running well. I was getting ready to send this board out for repair to have a new capacitor put on it. And then I got to thinking, how did the capacitor become so blown out? And the thing that comes to mind is that the actual diodes failed, so it sent AC in to a DC capacitor, and that would definitely cause this thing to cook. So as an example, I'm gonna take the known good board and just show you how to test it without removing any components. And to do that, you need a multimeter set to check diodes, and that is gonna send a voltage, in this case, 
five volts DC into the circuit. And the way the diode works is it only allows power to flow one way, but not the other. And when the power flows, the voltage will drop. So it's a pretty easy test. Actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna measure the output voltage of this using that meter. So you can see we're at 1.489 volts out, which is pretty close to what that one says. So we'll get this one out of the way and we'll start with this board. So the input to this board is right here. It's AC in and it sends DC out on these wires. This is the negative and that's the positive. And no matter how you send the voltage in, it'll always output it positive and negative. So if I attach a lead to the negative output and I send negative in, we get a voltage drop. And it doesn't matter which pin I do that on, the voltage drops. So that is correct. If I reverse it and I send positive in, it should not output on the negative. And there's a slight drop, but it is negligible. So that's functioning properly. And then I do the same test on the positive brush, or sorry, the positive output, and we should get a voltage drop no matter how I connect the input. And that is correct. If I reverse it and I try sending negative, there is no voltage drop. So this bridge rectifier is working properly. And I'll do the same test on this one. These are labeled on the back. So we get positive on the right, negative on the left, just like this one. So we'll start with sending negative input and we should see a voltage drop on the negative output and we do but then if i reverse it and do the same test i send positive in we should not get a voltage drop on the negative output but we do so that tells me at least two of these diodes are bad maybe more and then on this output this is the positive output so if I send positive in, voltage drop, that's good. And voltage drop, that's good. We'll reverse it. And now we should not get a voltage drop, but we do. So yeah, it's not just a capacitor that's needed here. The diodes most likely should all be replaced. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's been just over a week and Gary already sent the repaired board back. I'm not gonna install it now, I'll put that on a shelf for a rainy day, but he said the diodes were actually good. It was the capacitor that was shorted out and caused the unusual readings I was getting earlier when testing that bridge rectifier. Anyway, let's get this started. We'll let the engine warm up, put it under a 3000 watt load and see both how the engine and the generator head performs under load.
Okay, good. It had no issues holding a load at 3000 watts. The engine speed was just below 60 hertz, but the voltage, it was high. And even after bringing the engine speed down closer to 61 and a half hertz without a load, it was still at 130 volts. So given the engine's doing well, I'm thinking I'm gonna start it again, put a 5000 watt load on it and see where the engine speed's at. If it's above 58 hertz, I'm gonna bring it down a bit to get it to 58 hertz and then I'll turn the load off and see if that voltage is any better without a load. This engine had absolutely no issues handling that 5,000 watt load. It barely even noticed holding just above 59 and a half hertz. So there is room to bring the engine speed down, but we have the opposite problem now. We were at 112 volts with 5,000 watts, which is the low end of okay. So without a load, we're on the high end. With a load, we're on the low end. And unfortunately, that is the nature of the beast. This does not have an automatic voltage regulator. So you're gonna see high voltage without a load and low voltage with a load. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. I don't think there's much room for any further adjustments. So, you know, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I bought this assuming it was gonna be a parts machine. You know, these Yamaha engines can be used on a lot of things and they're well-made engines. But as it turns out, I only needed a capacitor to bring this thing back to life. And of course, the added bonus of having the display I needed to fix that as well. So in the end, we have a good running machine. So I hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching.